Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at his residence in Abu Dhabi the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty and His Highness exchanged friendly talks on the depth of fraternal relations between the two countries and leaders and people and the distinguishedness of these relations, as well as their keenness to further bolster them to serve development and prosperity in the two countries. His Majesty the King extended his condolences to the President of the UAE and Al Nahyan family following the demise of His Highness Sheikh Saeed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed thanked His Majesty for his sincere condolences, sympathy and warm sentiment which reflect the strength of the deep-rooted ties between Bahrain and the UAE and their peoples. The meeting was attended by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as senior officials. From the UAE, present were His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and the advisor of the Special Affairs at the Ministry of Presidential Affairs Court, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamdan bin Tahnoun Al Nahyan. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, attended the celebration held by the Moroccan Embassy in Bahrain for the Throne Day and the 24th anniversary of His Majesty King Mohammed VI's accession to the throne in the presence of a number of senior officials and members of the diplomatic corps accredited to Bahrain. The minister congratulated the Moroccan ambassador to Bahrain, Mustafa bin Khayi, and the members of the embassy on the occasion, praising the depth of the historical fraternal relations between the two countries and peoples and the development they are witnessing in various fields under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI. He reiterated Bahrain's commitment to strengthening bilateral ties, hailing the advanced level of diplomatic cooperation toward Arab regional and international issues. He wished Bahrain further development and progress. The Ministry of Labor succeeded in training over 800 job seekers within the on-the-job training for us program in just one year where Bahraini youth were trained in a number of sectors, most notably the banking and financial sector, the information and communication technology sector, the tourism and health sectors. The ministry was keen on encouraging companies and private sector institutions to provide training for job seekers within the FORAS program and to allow the employer to choose trainees for permanent employment in the relevant that a job vacancy is available. The Ministry of Labor always seeks to encourage job seekers to take advantage of the programs offered to them as a training program has been launched with an employment guarantee under the title The Man, through which a number of job seekers are employed in private sector institutions in cooperation with business owners by providing jobs when trainees pass the training program.
Salman town, which was opened by His Majesty the King in 2018, is the largest and most developed town in the history of housing in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It is one of the most prominent strategic projects implemented by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning on the northwestern coast of Bahrain. It is considered the largest of these projects in terms of area, number of housing units, facilities and services. It includes waterfronts with an area of 31 kilometers, 41 kilometers of green spaces with paths for practicing various hobbies and pedestrian paths with an area of 120 kilometers. Salman town consists of six residential suburbs in which four developed uh, building models for residential areas are being implemented, commensurate with the requirements of the Bahraini family. These models are in line with the models of the new generation of housing units designs that the ministry developed for housing in the town through the Government Land Development Rights Program in partnership with the private sector. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning was also keen on providing the housing units with waterfront views. The UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, met with his Pakistani counterpart Bilawal Abuto Zardari in Abu Dhabi, where they discussed bilateral relations and resolved to strengthen economic cooperation. The two ministers exchanged views on regional and global developments. They expressed satisfaction with bilateral, multi-dimensional cooperation in trade, investment, energy, information technology, and infrastructure, and reaffirmed their joint resolve to strengthen mutually rewarding economic ties. The Pope of the Vatican called to resume work on the Ukrainian Grain Export Agreement, which was concluded between Russia and Ukraine under the mediation of Turkey and the United Nations. The Pope appealed to the Russian Federation to resume the Black Sea Initiative and to transport the grain safely. The Pope confirmed that the cancellation of the grain agreement has exacerbated the suffering of millions of people around the world.